How's it going, everybody? My name's Ryan Devlin. I'm a saxophonist and teacher here at Jazz Lesson Videos. We're going to talk about three different ways to practice and understand melodic cells today. These are all methods and ways that I learned from Chad Lefkowitz Brown when I was studying with him during my undergrad degree. This is really a gateway into some of the modern chromatic improvisation of modern tenor players and really modern musicians. And everything that we talk about today can be found in Chad LB's Melodic Cells and Modern Etudes Melodic Cells eBooks. And since you're watching this video, you can use my code RD5 for $5 off these books. All right, so for our first example, we're going over one of my favorite melodic cells. These are non-diatonic cells and can be found in our melodic cells PDF book. This is one of my favorites to not only warm up on, but include in some of my lines. <laughs> So here we go. So we have this four note cell that we are moving up and down chromatically here in our PDF book. And the chords that it can be worked over are listed as follows. C minor seven, C seven, G minor seven, and E flat major. And that's just for that first example there before we start moving it around. So as you move the cell around, the chords move along with that. But the cool things about melodic cells is that, you know, because they're so chromatic sometimes, or they're really targeting a note, they can work over so many different chord structures and chord progressions. But this one, we're just gonna stick with those four for now as we learn it. We wanna practice this at tempos that are comfortable, maybe eventually clicking them up. I like to do the 60, 120, 200 kind of goal set, where I start really nice and slow at 60. Once I feel comfortable doing a couple reps at that tempo, I move up to 120, and then I move up to 200 from there. And what's really cool about these melodic cells is we can use these in progressions like I talked about before. So I'm gonna demonstrate how we can use some of these melodic cells in a 251 in concert F. And how can I start on a melodic cell, play a bunch of them in a row, specifically this one that we're working on, and then eventually resolve to a chord tone in concert F major. Let's try it. <laughs> So a cool thing about these four note melodic cells is that we can combine them into two. We call those compound cells. So for this next example, we're gonna check out some compound cells from that same PDF book, Melodic Cells. So this is compound cell example number one, and we're taking that same four note cell that we just talked about and adding it to another one. So that first four note compound cell that we worked on was one major seven flat seven one. Now we're going into Another melodic cell, which if we keep in that same key, would be two, flat two, one, two. So I'm thinking about that first example in the key of like C7 or C minor or C major. Just like with that first melodic cell, we wanna try and put this through all 12 keys, ascending and descending like we have written in our PDF here. And like playing the melodic cells over a two, five, one, we can take these compound cells and play them over different progressions. This time I'm gonna play it over a three, six, two, five, one. The same idea behind it. I'm gonna start on a compound cell, play some compound cells through the progression, and then look for my landing point, which again is going to be F concert F major, and see how I can get through this. And then you can connect that to your horn. For our final example, let's study how multiple melodic cells can be used over some tunes. Let's take a look at this LB Blues Etude from our Modern Etudes Melodic Cell PDF book. So let's 
take a look and analyze this a little bit. So as you can see right off the bat over our G7 chord, I'm looking at the B flat tenor book here. We have F, G, A flat, F sharp, G. So that A flat and that F sharp definitely don't work over G7, but it is a nice cell shape that we're using there to kind of create some chromaticism that then lands on the fifth of our next chord, C7 here, it lands on G. Then we play another melodic cell or chromatic cell, G, F sharp, F, G, E, right? So then we're targeting the third of our dominant chord there. And then as we keep going, some of these cells become more and more chromatic. The next bar, we land on C sharp, which is the tritone of our dominant chord here, which is a very good example of targeting a non-chord tone or an outside tone to create some tension while still playing these melodic cells. So then C sharp, C, B, C sharp, and then eventually we resolve to D here, which is the fifth of G7. And then we play another chromatic cell into some kind of altered scale cell here on G7, E flat, and A flats being played there. And this happens throughout the etude. Another section that I wanna point out here is playing these cells in chromatic sequences, like in measure nine, F, D flat, E flat, F. So in measure 10 on D7 here, this cell that starts on F sharp, we then play that same cell down a half step and start on F. So F sharp, F natural, or E sharp, E, F sharp, F, E, E flat, F. So that's that same cell being played in a chromatic sequence there. Same thing happens at the end of the etude as well in measures 21. We have that same cell being played up in half steps from C and then from D flat. This is a cool way of adding sequences to our chromatic cells. So playing these in like major thirds is cool, minor thirds is cool, circle of fourths, and playing chromatically like we have here in this etude. So I hope this video helped you understand melodic cells and kind of give you some ways to practice them. I practice these every day when I pick up my saxophone, whether I'm warming up on some of the exercises that I showed you earlier or trying to play chromatically over a progression or a tune. I'm always trying to fit more and more of these into my playing. One last reminder, you can find all of these PDF books on the Jazz Listen Videos website and you can use my code RD5 for $5 off. Hope to see you guys around soon. See you in the next video.